So SharePoint has a really comprehensive and complex security system. And the part that's usually of the most interest to developers is the security that's within a SharePoint site. So within a site, you work with users and groups and permission levels, permissions for sites, lists, and items. And site level security is concerned with authorization, controlling what a user can see and do. And then outside the context of the site, you deal with system security. So you're dealing with the security of the farm and its services in the process of verifying the user's identity. So if you're developing a system with custom authentication or claim providers or if you're developing service applications, these aspects of SharePoint are pretty interesting. Uh, but we're not going to cover them in this chapter. Generally, the system security and authentication mechanism are, that's the realm of the farm administrator who configures security for his services and then the application pools that contain web applications that are hosting SharePoint sites and service applications. So in this chapter, we're going to focus on security within the sites. What we're concerned about is what happens within a site collection, whereas the system security, authentication, that type of thing is all handled, that's actually administered on the server itself. So we're not actually touching the server, we're, we're touching the site collection here. So what I'd like to do now is just go ahead and explore the SharePoint site security in our site collection. We're back in our site collection now in SharePoint. And what I'm going to do is I want to go ahead and go to site settings. And I'm going to go to the users and permissions. So the first place we'll look at is people and groups. You can see here on the left hand side, on the left hand nav, the quick launch are the, uh, the default groups that get created when you create a SharePoint site. So it's the name of the site, in our case, test site collection, and then members, visitors, owners, and then uh, designers, approvers, hierarchy managers. These three though, members, visitors, and owners are the ones that use the name of the site. And so let's go back and I can go to site permissions and I can see here's the groups and if I want to click on one of these groups I can see who would be in it. So I'll click on site collection owners and I'm in that group because when the site collection was created, I was site collection administrator. I can also go click here on site collection administrators and I'll find my account there as well because, again, when the site collection is created, uh, my account was designated as a primary site collection administrator. And here you can do, you can create groups in here, grant permissions. Uh, you can even look at permission levels. So if you want to look at contribute, you can even add your own permission level. So if you wanted to create a new permission and add different types of, uh, you could add new permission level and then add different types of permissions for it, for lists or site or even personal permissions. So that's just a little overview of how the security works in the uh, in the SharePoint site collection.